one is to figure out which four dots are part of the pattern. You do this in a very systematic way. So when I connect these four, I know I have one of them in my pattern. And so I'm moving on. I still have one. Now I have two. Still have two. Still have two. Okay, sometimes that is not going to help you as much and then you need to do it diagonally as well. Okay, now I know only one of those four is part of my pattern. Let's try the center and see what we figure out. Okay, all right, so the center could be part of our pattern. So one of our diagonals. I think the center is part of it. Now I've got three. So I know of these four, three of them are in my pattern. Okay, I just lost one. See, I included those three and I lost one. So now I'm going to include the center. Okay, let's try that. Okay, now I have three. So I've determined it's these three and I know it might be hard to follow me here. Oh, now I've only got two. Hmm. I think it's this one. So I've still got three. Now I only have two. So I know that's one of them. Oh, now I've got all four. Okay, so now I have all four, but they are not in the correct order. That's what this is telling me. I'm clicking them in the wrong order. So first I just go backwards and I still don't. So that means I'm completely out of order. So now I'm going to start here and I'm gonna very systematically go about doing this. So that is completely in the wrong way. This is showing me that on this one I did have Something about this was in the right order. Let's start down here. Oh, I got it. I know that may not help you completely, but you do have to pay very close attention to those dots. Once you start doing that, you will get a little closer to solving a puzzle.